over the last few months, I've been noticing that there's uh, been quite a few Windows devices released, um, specifically tablets, that are under $100. Um, this is a really fascinating price point. Um, uh, there's some as low as $60. And this is a great price point for throwaway devices, maybe for younger children in the family. Um, but obviously, you're still handing over a very powerful Windows device. And so um, just wanted to go over how we can add a child account to make it a little bit safer for them to use in general. It's really easy to do. I'm going to swipe in from the right and bring up the charms bar. And at the bottom, I'm going to hit settings. And then again at the bottom, I'm going to hit change PC settings. And then I'm going to go to accounts, the second one in the list on the left. And then other accounts. Okay, and here obviously I don't have any additional accounts. I just have my own Windows account, uh, which I'm assuming you, you've set up already. Um, um, so I'm going to add now a child account. I'm just going to go ahead and add an account. And then at the bottom on the left again, we're going to see add a child's account. And this is where we're going to get into adding a child account. Again, if you look at the bottom, you see add a child account without an email. If this is a really young child, I'm assuming they won't need any kind of email. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the child's name. We are going to put in a simple password for them. And a little reminder of what that password will be. Again, this just sets up a local Windows account for this device. And there we have it. Okay, so we've just added our new child account. Um, but if you look just below that, um, you'll see a manage family safety settings online. This allows you to actually define a little bit more specifically what kind of things the that a child account can and cannot do. So if you click on that, it will bring up a website. Um, obviously, I've put my credentials in already. It'll ask you for yours for safety's sake. Um, and then you can click on the child you've just added. Um, and as you can see, by default, it gives you activity reports every every single week um, or, or on some 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 uh, basis, um, some time basis. But then what we can also do is add things like web filtering or set time limits, um, app restrictions, um, decide which Windows Store games and apps are appropriate. Um, so let's have a look at game restrictions, for example. Um, you can decide what rating is appropriate for your child. Um, you can even define a particular game list maybe you want to use. Um, app restrictions, you can decide which Windows applications, uh, standard Windows applications, uh, are usable. Um, they're blocked by default, so you have to make decisions about that pretty early on. Um, again, time limits um, can be established. Maybe a curfew, can, you want to set up a curfew. Very straightforward um, interface, um, one that you'll be uh, very comfortable using, I'm sure. Um, you can also apply web filtering. You can decide which websites are restricted or allowed um, again. And then you can decide which device. Maybe you have more than one device and you can decide which device that's applicable to. Again, you can uh, also very useful one. You can just completely block downloads from the web for this particular device. Again, the, the uh, options you have are very, um, very complete, uh, very well thought out and easy to use. I think, this, I think in that regard, a Windows 8 device becomes a very useful gift for a young uh, member of your family. Have a great holiday.